Hello everybody, welcome back to the Sunday special. Been a couple days off for me, that's been nice, but it's time to get back to some videos. So today's Sunday special, I was having some trouble thinking of it throughout the week, and I just kind of settled on, we're going to do the top 10 raced versions of trucks uh, from the modern uh, build, if we will. We will. So what I mean by the modern build, modern build no opening hood, um, no opening roof flaps, nothing like that, just a basic truck. It's about 48 bucks, I think, now is what the normal cost per truck is. Um, but that is the type of truck. So no Chase Elliott 2013 win. Uh, there's going to be no Austin Dillon Eldora win. You know, the, the, that die-cast version of the truck is not included in this. Um, but it would be 2017 Chase Elliott and this year's 2020 Chase Elliott. So that that's the type of, of die-cast truck we're talking about. We're talking about the new version, uh, just like they have the Xfinity series from gold to uh, whatever the old version would be, the ARC style. So, But anyway, we're going to do the top 10. Uh, we're going to start, though, with an honorable mention. Uh, because I basically couldn't decide between 11 and 10, so I just said I'll put them both in, and uh, we'll do it as a 11 slash 11A, or 10 and 10A. So the first one I'm going to show is going to be this one here. It is going to be Brett Moffitt's 2018 Iowa race win version. Um, this one has not as much race damage to it. There's still some. It's a little dirty on the splitter. The finish of this one was amazing. Uh, a little bit of confetti. The paint scheme is what I really like about it. Green and white. Um, just definitely not a, a color scheme you normally get to see. A um, little bit of dirt overall but fairly fairly clean um so again that's that's why this one's so low on the list um there's definitely some other ones that would be on this list with this truck if it weren't for the paint scheme um you know ones like greg biffles uh texas win cow bushes wins you know ones where the trucks don't get beat up too bad they kind of stay in pretty good shape uh things like that so uh we're gonna put that one over here actually we're gonna slide it over here and then we're gonna go to number 10 number 10 on our list is going to be another brett moffett 2018 chicagoland race win uh this one does not have as much on the raced version side but it does have a uh, carbon fiber splitter and then you can see we've got confetti caked all over the top of this car this was the race where john hunter Nemechek had an issue on the last lap and um brett moffett went on to win with this truck that was unsponsored before the weekend um but was able to get a sponsorship uh before chicagoland so this um this truck definitely looks looks the part it was definitely a, a pretty sharp looking paint scheme just having black and red numbers and then uh you know getting it caked in confetti sure helps uh as well so uh this is definitely a truck that um you know i i think is a, a pretty good must have and they're not very expensive either so um you know the uh, other thing i didn't note is that these are all lionel produced we're not doing customs in this video uh because there's some customs that would take its place all right now on to number nine on the list guess what it's another Brett Moffat. This one is his 2019 Bristol truck. So this truck is the Midnight Moon truck. It's flat matte, white and blue and black. We got carbon fiber splitter again, but this one's Bristol. So what do you have on Bristol? All the rubber pieces and the rubber pelts, bone, bent up front bumper, um, you know, rubber build up stuff on the right, for, yeah, right front corner. And then down the right side, you can see we got some more markings um, and stuff like that. So uh, that's the main thing on this one. You do get a playoff banner, which is nice. Um, as is, That one's also signed. But, um, you know, the main thing is it's a Bristol one, so it's a little bit dirty. But it's definitely, um, you know, 9, 9, 10, and the rest are all kind of similar. Not a lot of de detail to them, not too beat up. But once we start getting into this next one, we're going to have uh, a little different story. So this next one is going to be a little bit raced up. It is the 2018 Timothy Peters Talladega win. So the Timothy Peters Talladega win uh, is the pink and white truck with the yellow number on the roof. Pretty cool looking uh, paint scheme. Uh, we do get some donuts here on the left side. Um, we also have the uh, very nice signature on the windshield there. Um, but on the front, you can see we've got just the rubber marks and the stuff from pushing around all day. So a little bit beat up front end. Um, is that a scratched up decal? I think it is. Yeah, I think that's a decal defect right there. Yeah, that's a decal defect. Eh, whatever. The last one was defective too. Had a big paint bubble under the skirt and it like popped in and looked ugly. So, um, but anyway, this paint scheme has basically just that left side damage is the main draw to it. There's not a bunch of super crazy stuff. That really bothers me now that I know it's there. So great. But, uh, Lionel quality control, right? Um, 
but overall this this one has the left side damage and that's really the biggest uh the biggest draw to this car but uh still a very very sharp truck um i may have to do some tweaking on that front end if i want to get it looking good again uh all right anyway let's get on to number seven on this list number seven is going to be a runner-up finish from daytona this year Jordan Anderson. So this truck has one little donut mark. You can see it looks like it's dented right here uh, because of the way that they decaled it, which by the way looks amazing. They did a fantastic job with that. Uh, the front end is has got kind of the raced rubber and junk on it. Right side we got the burned up tailpipes. Um, overall he kept it pretty pretty clean. Uh, the, the paint scheme is big. Also it's Jordan Anderson. We finally got a Jordan Anderson truck. So um, the main draw to this one is going to be the donut marks here on the left side and then right up there on the right front or the left front and then the left rear are the two draws on this one. Um, Casey will get in their, their truck out there, but that's definitely the, the biggest draw to this one is having those marks. And then obviously the paint scheme and the fact that it's Jordan Anderson uh, is what puts it at number seven. Yeah, seven. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and get on to number six, and that is the car he lost to in that race, unfortunately. Unfortunately for the losing part, but the, the truck itself, this truck is Grant and Fingers' Daytona win. So this one here is going to have some blue around the left, or the, yeah, the left front here from going through the grass and getting the blue paint all over. Um, the paint scheme is top notch. This this is one of the cooler paint schemes. I really really like it. Um, you got Champion. We've got Ride TV. We got American Ethanol Ring. All that fun stuff. Um, but the main stuff for damage is as I said, it's on the tires. You can see the different marks on these tires here. Um, but then you go to the front end. Looks pretty good. Uh, signature up there, but on the right side, this is where it gets good. We got some dirt up here. We got some donut marks, a little scrape right there on the number. Uh, you can see the Goodyear's kind of getting rubbed off the left front or the right front and the right rear a little bit. Um, as I said, this one, basically it's a little bit better paint scheme than Jordan Anderson's with about the same amount of race damage is, is the best way to put it. Um, and that's what puts it up here. So I really like this paint scheme. It's a very, very sharp scheme. I was going to get it regardless uh luckily he won so i ended up getting the raced version instead which uh <laughs> was not a bad move for me now we're getting in to our top five so in the top five i'm gonna let you know right now four of them are eldora wins i wonder why um including our number five spot which is Stuart friedens 2019 eldora race win you can see the windshield all covered in the mud and the I think it's supposed to be dew, but you can see it all over the windshield. He's got his signature on there. Gander Outdoors, you see it on the roof. We got the Chevy cams. Number 52 there. Uh, you can see a little bit of a dent here on the left front, uh, left side door. Uh, you get to the nose of the car. You can see the dirt kind of up along the nose. Um, you do also get dirt tires on this. So on the right side, you can see on the right rear corner where he's got the mud slung up there. Um, underneath, you do have the dirt tires, as I said. And then... Um, Overall, it's it's by far the cleanest of the Eldoras, but the cleanest Eldora still looks pretty darn good, especially with that windshield. So um, the windshield on the left side of the main draw for this one, plus it's the only Stuart Friesen truck uh, that's been out, kind of like the Jordan Anderson. But that's what puts it in at number five. Number four is our last non-Eldora car. This is a car that I got to see in person, the 2019 Ross Chastain Kansas win. So this truck is dirty because somebody was leaking oil everywhere. And you can see it all over the right side of this truck. Look how dirty that right side is. Look how dirty the nose is. The hood is really dirty. Also, it's caked in confetti from the windshield on back. Uh, you can't even hardly tell what's under it. Um, and then you also have here where the, the hot water was spraying out because he was overheating. And it was kind of decolored this this part of the truck here. Um, so that's, that's another part of it. But you can see overall this truck is just extremely dirty. It's all because of the uh, oil that was getting laid down by somebody early in the race. And it left uh, left a lot of trucks real dirty by the end of the race. And so uh, that's what puts it up here. It's the confetti mixed with, obviously, that watermark, which is pretty cool. And then the just loads of, uh, of oil slash rubber buildup that uh, ended up on this truck. Because normally you normally get marks, but not it's never this bad or this much. Uh, the reason you have this much here is just, as I said, because there was there was somebody laying like oil down earlier in front of all the leaders and ended up leaving a lot of marks on cars. So uh, that's what brings this car in at number four. Now we're going to go to our number three spot, 
Um, our number three spot on the list today is going to be an Eldora win. It's going to be a Forest Port truck, and it's going to be Matt Crafton. This is the Matt Ca Crafton 2017 Eldora race win. You can see on the front, it's all dirtied up. On the nose, you can see the dirt. Uh, pretty clean windshield. Uh, the left side is fairly clean as you go down. Uh, you can see the rims are kind of dirt in them. But the right side is where most of our good stuff's at. Um, you can see we got some tire marks. The right front is all dinged up or rubbered up. And then down the left rear, or the right rear, you can see some of the tire marks. Um, little scrapes with the wall there, which is just a, a good deal for, for any of these Eldoras is that they kind of seem to scrape the wall a few times here or there. So um, you can see all those marks there. Uh, you can see a little bit of markings on the rear bumper, not too many, but the main thing is our right side is dirty, um, the nose on the car is dirty, and then the, the uh, bright yellow here allows a lot of that dirt to show, uh, which is what brings it in at number three. So on to our number two spot. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at another Eldora win. This is the Chase Briscoe 2018 Eldora race win. So on this truck, you see we've got the signature there, but overall the paint scheme is a very, very good looking paint scheme. Uh, the left side is clean as could be. Kept it real, real clean there. Uh, but the right side is a different story. So on the right side, you can see we got a donut mark on the right rear. Um, also along the wheels here, we got no Goodyear left on that tire. Uh, we got marks all down this right side and then up on the right front as well. Uh, this is where he got into Grand Infinger and basically walled him uh, coming out of the corner. I would have liked to have seen them race to the line and not put him in the wall, but... Um, you know, I just think basically giving Grand Infinger no chance to get to the line without getting put in the wall is, is I'm not a huge fan of it, but I get it. It's dirt. It's also kind of hard to do that, but I'm just, that's my personal preference. I like seeing people drag race down to the line, not, not take the other guy out because they're right next to him because that sets a bad precedent for future. Anyway, but um, yeah, he, he raced good and you can see here we've got uh, the different marks on the right side, which look really, really good. And um, All these Eldora wins are harder to find now, so I know they're definitely some of the favorites. And on our number one spot, I'm sure most everybody knows what it is by now. It's going to be the 2016 Kyle Larson. Oops, I'm running out of room here. Uh, the 2016 Kyle Larson Eldora win. And that is for a very, very clear reason. Uh, the left side is dirty. See the tire's got dirt on it. Uh, the left front's got it, but the, the nose is just mudded up. They let the mud get all over the front of this truck. You can see that it's, it's literally just covered in it. Uh, you got a signature on the windshield. Um, but then you get to the right side, and it's it's just mud everywhere over here. Um, you can see how there is just mud all over this truck. Um, DC Solar's on there. But overall, this one just just covered in mud. It's it's hard to hard to imagine a uh, a situation where this truck wouldn't be number one until we get some really, really raced up trucks. But this one is the clear cut number one for at least the near future. Um, just with all the dirt all over it. Um, that's what brings it in at number one. It is by far the most raced up version. It's not my personal favorite. Uh, my personal favorites are all the ones I've seen in person, but still a very, very top and high end truck there. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to slide them all into place so we can get a nice good look at all of them. Um, in order from 1 to 10 slash 11 because again there's two at number 10 so it's a top 10 with a with a 10a or so we'll, we'll go with that we'll do the math thing where it's you know five math problems with uh five parts per question which makes it way 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 worse there we go all right so before we head off there's our top 10 uh and 10 a's sticking off the side but we've got our top 10 trucks right here in the video uh i hope you guys have enjoyed uh please do hit the the like button comment subscribe share all that fun jazz the youtube jargon uh in the comments below put ideas in for next week's sunday special in the comments below i'll go through them i usually try to find my ideas from that uh, but then i try to mix it up with videos that i can make that i have what i need versus if i've got something coming in that would like to add to the video or something like that so uh put those comments down below um other than that this has been race craze i hope you have enjoyed have yourself have yourselves a great week out there um and this yeah that'll pretty much wrap it up yeah so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next diecast review